We're shaking, people. Back with another reaction, back with some more Pet Shop Boys, and we're back for quite a long remix of Suburbia. I really enjoyed that track, and it was one that um, a number of you commented on and gave me sort of context for, and sort of the, you know, cinematic, sort of like, um, like theatrical aspect to the, like, you know, the dog barking and the sort of found sounds. Um, it had a very, like, unique uh, quality to it, and it was a tune that was sort of part of me getting very excited about the Pet Shop Boys uh, deep dive. So now, having gone through the rest of the first album, you know, touched the first, uh, the second album a little bit, and now starting to go through the remix album, like between the two, um, I'm very excited to listen to a longer remix of Suburbia. It is called the Full Horror Mix. Um, I'm intrigued by that title. I, you know, I don't know if that means it'll have a heavier or maybe like a, a more like dark or um, unsettling kind of vibe. I doubt it. I imagine that it's more related to whoever remixed the tune. Um, but yeah, ultimately it is about nine minutes long, so we'll get straight to it. This is Pet Shop Boys, the full horror mix of Suburbia from their disco, the first disco album, uh, which I believe is 1987. <laughs> Whatever version you make it. 
Comment on the percussion, but the sax just like broke my brain. Sorry.
intense. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. Obviously, m even more cinematic and theatrical and atmospheric uh, than the original, um, especially by the end there, uh, where it felt like, you know, not just the track, but the entire world was like crumbling around it, being blown away in a gale. Uh, so yeah, really cool. Um, again, it, it felt like a dance remix more in the second half than the first half. It felt like the first half was a bit closer to the original, and then it started going in some different directions again, eventually getting kind of dark um, and sort of um, like fitting with the horror uh, moniker. So yeah, really cool tune, uh, really cool remix, I should say. Um, yeah, I'm going to go through the rest of Disco. I may, you know, do one or two more tracks from actually while I'm going through Disco, um, just so I sort of, you know, keep going down some different alleyways, which I've been doing with, you know, Erasure and Depeche and Aha uh -huh and some other groups that I'm really into uh, when it comes to these uh, deep dives. So yeah, like I said, may go back to actually once or twice before we get to the end of Disco here, but I will continue going through this. Once again, shout out to Seb, shout out to Izzy, shout out to all the people um, commenting on and enjoying the Pet Shop Boys reaction. It's one of my favorite deep dives. I really um, enjoy this because in a way it's, you know, Erasure. I knew a little bit back in the day. I've come to appreciate them much more. Um, even Depeche Mode you could say that about. Again, Yazoo, I knew them. I had upstairs at Eric's, but I've come to appreciate them more. But Pet Shop Boys were ultimately like a name I heard. I never really knew their music beyond, again, West End Girls I eventually heard when I was a little older. Um, and then when I got a record that was a remix of one of their tracks, Single Bilingual, I made a point to go listen to that and I was like, ooh, this is, <laughs> the original is really good. Uh, and that made me more interested. And that was right around the time. Um, uh, or not right around the time. I got that record a long time ago. But when I sort of came back to react to that record, um, someone commented, I think it was Seb, and was like, oh, you know, I was curious what this might sound like, you know, a bit uh, beyond my normal interest, you know, sort of hard slamming, like hard trans um, percussion. Uh, but he mentioned, you know, that he was a fan of Pet, Bo Pet Shop Boys, and that was the moment where I was sort of like, you know, I'd like to go down that journey eventually too. Uh, so once again, shout out to Seb for sharing the tune, shout out to Izzy for also suggesting um, that it would be an interesting journey to go on. Uh, let me know what you think of this remix, and we'll see you next time. Peace.